everybody in YouTube land, another vlog post from usandroidtv.com. Uh, today is the 27th of August 2017 and I want to post this video because we're getting messages about different things not working with our Cody build and I imagine there's quite a few others out there that are experiencing the same problem. Let me explain what's going on. First of all, uh, Cody just recently did a stable update so now instead of 17.3 Krypton on Cody, you now have 17.4 Krypton on Cody. So the first thing we want to do uh, is we want to make sure that we update Cody. And the thing is, is that I know if you bought a budget box from me, your screen looks a little different from this. But what you're going to want to do is basically the same thing where you find your gears or your settings icon and this should be pretty standard across all Android boxes so even if you didn't buy from me it should be just like this you click settings this screen should be pretty much the same across all of the boxes you're going to want to scroll down to where it says personal and add account so I'm going to do that a little slower like my first row is device then preferences then remote and accessories and then personal and then I'm gonna go over one to add account and that's the same on my budget box as well as my economy and ultimate box I'm going to click OK and what it's gonna do is ask me what type of account do I want to add well in order to be able to access the Google Play Store you have to go down to Google and click Google uh, for to be able to log on to your Google account and log into the Play Store if you don't have a Gmail account at this time, you should probably pause this video, create a Gmail account, they're free. I know we have iOS users out there that don't use Android, but this is an Android device, so you will need a Gmail account, which will allow you access to the Google Play Store. So we're going to go to Google, we're going to click OK, and it is going to do this for a second, and it's going to ask you to add your email or your phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to log on. I'm going to use my um, account. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this just for time's sake. But, you know, we're going to, I'm going to log on to the account and show you the screens that you need to see. But I'm going to pause intermittently. So this is the first pause. Yep. Once you go ahead and you enter your Google uh, email or phone number, you want to look for this aqua colored circle with the arrow on it. You want to click OK. And if it's successful, it should pull up your full Gmail address. And now it's going to ask for your password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that and pause to save time. Once you've entered your password, you should be able to hit OK because your cursor is already on the aqua colored circle with the, uh, the right arrow, the enter button. And it's going to ask you by signing in, do you agree to the terms? So you can scroll down um, or mouse down and click accept. Of course I always use the air mouse remote, it's a lot quicker. And it's going to check my info. And I always, no, I don't want to back up to Google Drive, so I deselect that, I hit next. Um, and then usually it asks for uh, if you want to add a payment amount. Mine's not, mine didn't do that because I've logged on before with that, but the next screen that you might see will will ask you to add a payment method and I believe the option you want to select is no thanks and you click OK um, and then for some reason on these boxes the very last screen that screen that you just saw where it says unfortunately the, uh, the program has stopped you can click OK it'll kick you back to this screen right here which as you can see on my personal I successfully have my Google account loaded so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the Google Play Store Oh, uh, I was just directed. After you've added your account, you hit the back arrow one time, and that will take you back to your home screen. Or you can hit the home button. It looks like a house on your remote. That will also take you back there. Now, on the H96, uh, my uh, economy and my ultimate, I have a, a widget for Google Play Store, but I know on the budget boxes they do not. So what you're going to look for is the one that says Apps. You're going to click OK. You're going to go down to Google Play Store. You're going to click OK. And because you're already logged in, 
my internet connection is running slow down here in Southwest Florida. We're having a tropical depression. So um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and pause until this loads up fully and we'll be right back. Okay, so after, after a, a much, de a, a huge delay, uh, again, yeah, I have to apologize for my internet speed. Storms in Southwest Florida are kind of merciless. Uh, as you can see, I have recent search history as Cody, but if you need to, you can type it in. Uh, you just simply, you know, if you have an air mouse, you can type it in on the back like I do, but you want to type in K-O-D-I and that will uh, get it in there for you. As you can see, it's already on the menu, so whether you scroll down or whatever you do, um, however you get to it, you want to get to the Kodi app. Now, what you will see is if you're running the old version, the 17.3 version, uh, what it will have is it will have update right here instead of uninstall, and it will have open. Uh, so obviously we want to update the app and let it update. I think it's 34 megabytes. Mine's already updated because I did it this morning. Um, so now that we've done that, we have successfully updated and we are running the most current version of uh, Kodi. So I'm going to end this blog post right now because I'm going to do a part two about our build because there's some changes within that too. So make sure you check out not only this one, but also the next blog post that I'm going to upload, which is actually addressing the issues that are in the build that I have. So until next time, make sure, you know, if you can give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you have any questions, of course, you can always visit us at www.usandroidtv.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you here in just a few minutes.